Jewish mother. <laughs> uh -oh. So, uh, Jewish mother. So, it could get rough. So, what do you say we, we get a few napkins in case we spill? <laughs> I'm the new me. Instead of being one of these people that run from change, I embrace it. I'm getting all the new in things. A TiVo, a cell phone, a subprime mortgage. <laughs> yes, I said it, a subprime mortgage. That's what my son got me for my birthday. That's just what I needed at this age. More debt. Debt is like dead weight. I thought I got rid of dead weight when I divorced my husband. <laughs> but I'm not going to let the men in my life get me down. I'm going to save it for the strangers in this room. Oh, you, you look like you can really go down. I mean, get down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, back to my son. I don't know what to do with him. He's a pain in the ass. He's giving me quite an education. Like, he's taught me all about the animal kingdom. Like, now I know why tigers eat their young. A tiger eats her young cub because she knows she's too weak and will not be able to survive and he'll ruin the rest of the pack. And he'll marry a Peruvian whore. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, who will cheat on him and suck his mother dry of all her assets. All the while, the Peruvian whore is still living with her cub, their kids, and the Peruvian whore's new boyfriend. That's why a tiger eats her young. <laughs> oh, and you may ask about his wife, his ex-wife, but not legally. What do you call that? I had to look it up in Wikipedia. A woman who lives with her husband, she left, but hasn't divorced, all the while having a boyfriend in the bedroom, <laughs> is called a whore. <laughs> I don't want to give you the idea that I don't like this one. I want to give you the idea that I despise this woman. They say love is blind, but nobody tells you that love makes you stupid. My son was a very successful businessman until he met her, and now he's stupid. <laughs> She's also a self-anointed princess. That's why she married my son, who's Jewish. She got the right idea. You want a good doctor, you find a Jewish doctor. You want a good accountant, you find a Jewish accountant. If you want a successful husband, you don't marry my son. <laughs> and he doesn't even call his mother. And if he doesn't want me talking about him in front of a hundred people a night, <laughs> he better call his mother because I got a tour booked. Coast to fucking coast. <laughs> well, what's today's date? What's today's year? Is it 2010? Is it 2011? I don't know. And I don't, at my age, I don't give a damn. Married 30 years. Oh, yeah! Divorced 13. Yeah! yeah. yeah. My ex-husband was more interested in baseball than he was in me. I offered to compromise. I offered four days rest before taking the mound. <laughs> But it didn't work. Call it an incomplete game. Now I call in my ace reliever, Doc Johnson. And he always pitches a perfect game. 
I should have waited to get married because at my age, the vow till death be apart is easily attainable. <laughs> Do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband until death be apart or next week, whichever comes first? What all I got to lose up being no partner? I got married because of my mother. My mother said I didn't have to be happy, but I had to be married. So I got married. My mother came from the old school, Jerusalem High. <laughs> Home of the White Lives. <laughs> she had a way of getting you to do things. She said, you'll get married and you'll like it. And my therapist said, what if your mother told you to jump off a bridge, would you? And I said, if you knew my mother, you would jump and you would like it. <laughs> well, now I'm single and starting to date. Dating is hard, and my men aren't. I do sex on the first date, because at my age, I don't know if there'll be a second date. <laughs> my age so I can date their sons. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for coming. Good night.